Milky Way right now. And uh, um, the uh, what we have seen that's interesting is we did see the fighters in the sky. Um, however, they also do train at this time of night, so it's not clear if they were joined in. I'm sure there is some kind of at least notice. Uh, we do have helicopters in the area, and there is priority. And you can see the tail now. Uh, they just uh, illuminated the tail with that famous American flag. But again, the question has always been, once this plane gets in the air, what happens to us here left behind, essentially? And so um, it, it actually it looks like he's going to just take off there. It sounds like he is spooling up. He's not going to the end of the runway. He's going to spool up in the middle of the runway. And there he goes. He's, he's uh, full power headed down the runway now. So there is President Trump about to be airborne. You will see Air Force One. The terminal will block him a little bit, and then he will rise above the terminal. So stay with our shot just a little bit longer, and you will see Air Force One in the air uh, after this historic visit. Uh, you have to remember that there has never been Air Force One and Air Force Two on the ground in Tulsa in the city's history. It probably won't ever happen again. Um, so that a lot of people just came out here even if they couldn't go downtown they just saw the planes now it is a 747 so give it a minute to get above the terminal and there you go you can see it above the terminal now the flashing light uh, is Air Force One as Donald Trump has now entered the airspace but the question now is what happens to us tonight will people behave themselves uh, what are police going to have to deal with and are they gonna trash the place so we are going to wait and see how this all plays out uh we'll send it back to you live at tulsa international airport covering news that matters i'm rick maron on fox 23 news